Good morning, everybody. It's Margie from Bumbles and Fairy Tales, and um, here with a um, brief update. I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible because I do have a lot of books. Um, a few um, review books, um, a few books that I got in the mail, and a ton of books that we got at the library sale this weekend. Um, so I'm just going to try to get through it all as quickly as possible. Um, there's some updates. I'll just link them all down below. Um, to start with, I got a few books from Sourcebooks Jabberwocky. The first two are Horrid Henry and The Zombie Vampire by Francesca Simon. And also by Francesca is Horrid Henry's Monster Movie. And um, they're obviously middle grade books. Um, I'll be reading and reviewing this probably towards the end of this week. And um, there's also going to be a giveaway for them, and included with these two books will be two other books, but it's going to be a whole four book package deal, so directly from Sourcebook, so look for that probably on Thursday or Friday. Also from Sourcebook's Jabberwocky, I received um, The Girl's Ghost Hunting Guide by Stacey Graham, which is totally, totally cute. I've probably showed this to you before. I gave my copy away to a special little girl, and now I received another copy for review for an official review and giveaway. So look for this um, probably on Halloween. Um, then on Twitter, I won a book um, by Joanne Levy, and that's small, medium, at large, a middle grade book. And the cover is really, really sweet. And she's a Canadian author. Um, she was able to send this to me through Amazon. And um, I can't wait to read this. I've been wanting to read it ever since before it came out. So I'm really excited to finally have a copy. And not only, you know, a finished copy too. So that's really super great. Thank you so much, Joanne. And then Lauren Morrill sent me a postcard with her little initials. Oops, on this side. It's a postcard, and I am so excited and cannot wait to read Meant to Be. Um, also this weekend, um, Friday night, my sister and I were able to attend the Winter White signing by Jen Kalanita. We got to see Jen again. Um, she's a local author. Well, not local, local, but yeah, she's on the island, so local author, and um, I went to her signing, and we were able to meet her boys and husband and family, and everybody was there. It was so exciting. Um, so probably beginning of the first week in November or so, um, look for the review. Also, there are, there is going to be some interviews, um, a recap of the signing. Um, she's having a cotillion to celebrate the release of this book. Hopefully, um, my sister and I will be able to attend to that too. So there will also probably be a um, recap of that. And um, did I mention giveaway? Um, yeah, working on all that. So definitely look for this probably the second week of November. I'm thinking that will work much better. Yeah, look for that. I don't know if you guys have heard, but there's a new website called ARC Cycling, or ARC Cycling. These are, uh, thank you, um, bookmarks. And a little button from Jennifer. Um, I donated a few books a few weeks ago and sent them out to their new owners. And basically, it's a website where you can donate or go every Sunday late afternoon, early evening. And you recycle your ARCs. So it gives everybody a chance to read them. Um, also gives chance for people who are on, can't afford books and so on and so forth to just share your ARCs. And um, I sent out, I believe, three, four, I don't even remember. Um, I don't, I'm not keeping track, but <clears throat> I was able to get two in return. Um, one I already received, and that's Between You and Me by Marissa Collin. And this came from Ashley of Ashley Lowe's Books. So thank you very much, Ashley. And thank you, Jennifer, for putting sending this up and doing all the work because it seems like a lot of work. And um, you're doing great. So I can't wait to um, get my stack together again, recycle and recycle some more books. And then on Twitter, I did a trade copy of For Dream You by M. Beth Cooper, which is something that I'm more interested in reading. Um, the book is based in the early 90s, which is when I went to high school, so I'm really excited to see 
um, what she referenced, what she used, what music, all that stuff. And um, it's going to bring back a lot of memories and reminiscing and stuff. So I'm looking forward to catching up on this soon. So thank you to Vivian for um, her Twitter name is Dead Tossed Waves, I believe. So all links below. Um, <clears throat> like I mentioned before, we went and um, to the library sale. And all of these books were either 50 cents to a dollar. No more. 50 cents to a dollar. So we made out really, really well. Um, the first book that I got is Wicked Nights by Dina Showalter. And this is the first book in the Angels of Dark series. And it's like brand new. It's not even like a library copy. I guess somebody donated it. And I've been wanting to read for a long time um, the Gossip Girl series. <clears throat> which is by, I forget her name, something, Vaughn something, Cicely Vaughn Zieg, Ziegas, Gesser, I don't know, and um, I was able to find quite a few books, my sister actually bought these for me, so I, I'm missing, I believe, the first two books, so these are all the books I got, I believe I'm missing the first two, and then like, book number eight, and then the rest. So for like 50 cents a piece, I mean really. And then the rest of the books are middle grade children's books. Um, one of the first books that we're super excited to get just for a dollar is this huge children's encyclopedia of American history. And, and then we picked up another reference book and that's Scholastic's Atlas of Exploration. My little guy, I, don't read, I have no idea where he got the fascination from, but he really likes maps and just learning things about the world. So I got The Hidden Myths in Harry Potter. Now this is not approved by J.K. Rowling or Warner Brothers, but somebody took the time to just um, make a quick little reference book. That's the book part. Of... Um, where J.K. Rowling kind of got her ideas or where she wrote certain parts of the book, they believe. She's mentioned a few, so some of them, some of them this map really opens bigger than this, but. Um, then they also got the awesome official guide to Club Penguin. They're huge Club Penguin um, fanatics right now, especially with all the Halloween things going on on the website. So um, they got this to add to their collection. And then my older guy is now into series books. It used to be chapter books, like Diary of the Wimbykin, things like that. But those are books that you don't have to really follow along, really. Um, but this is Beast Quest. And um, you have to follow it from the very beginning. So we found quite a few. And hopefully, as he's reading, we'll have to just fill in the blanks. And maybe at another library sale, I can find some more. Um, they've also found Ben 10 books. Um, they also found these Lego books. And, of course, my sister had a lot of input in helping them find all this. But they found those series. And it's the Lego Exoforce. And to me, it looks kind of like Transformer-ish. So between the books looking Transformer-ish and, of course, them being Legos, huge hit. So Fly Guy. So, um, he just loves Fly Guy. So this is Fly Guy versus the Fly Sweater, and this is by Ted Arnold. Cover's really cool. And then he also found the rabbit who couldn't find his daddy. And that's by... Lillian Edville and Sarah Gimberson. And then by Doreen Cronin and Scott Mention, we got Rescue Bunnies. And this is such a cute book. The little pictures and everything are really sweet. And then we also found Charlie's, Super Charlie's Superhero Underpants by Paul Bright and Lee Wildish. And the graph, the uh, I always want to say graphics. I don't know. I don't think they're really graphics. They're really picture books, so pictures in here are really cute too. And last but certainly not least, meet Chowder. And Chowder is a bulldog. And I don't know who else I'll look at the other side. 
Peter Brown. And on the very first page, Chowder gives you a little bit of his um, personality. There he is. It says, Chowder had always been different. His owners like to think of him as quirky, but most people thought he was just plain weird. And I wonder why. <laughs> wonder why they think he's weird. So this is probably going to be read for a uh, bedtime tonight. And that's it for me. At least for now. I do have a ton of other books that I received um, for review and stuff, but I'm running out of time on this video already. And um, yeah, so uh, look for another update in a couple of days. And I hope you guys are having a great time and wishing you tons of book and happy reading. See you soon.